It's still summer break for many local school districts, but Telosa Midway is already heading back to the classroom. Staff were back last week to prepare for the first day of school, which is tomorrow. The district previously had some staffing concerns last school year, and our Brandon Schaff joins us now in studio with more on how everything looks heading into this school year. Brandon? Hey, good evening, Brian. And schools officially, or school officials say that this has been the best hiring season for Tolosa Midway ISD since the COVID-19 pandemic. And since they have more staff going into the school year now, they say that it helps them be fully prepared for students and the year round school year also bringing new experience and a new challenge for new hires. Onboarding new staff members, new teachers, getting their training going, getting their rooms set up, getting them everything that they need so that they feel fully prepared and confident for day one. That's part of the adjustment. With just one day until the first day of school for Toloso Midway ISD, Assistant Superintendent Dr. John White said staff has been preparing for months. Students have been out of class since May, and he said the district has worked to normalize school and improve teacher retention since the COVID-19 pandemic. Now with another year kind of just away from that, um, doing a better job at the district level with really kind of um, strategically planning for hiring and retaining staff. About 30 to 40 new staff were hired for this school year. Most are teachers. Dr. White said recruitment both in and out of the district, even outside of Corpus Christi, helped them fill more positions this year than last year. He said their situation this year allows them to hire staff for specific programs instead of just making sure they had enough for the first day of class. Nothing like what we've experienced in the years past where it definitely felt like it was just a never ending cycle of trying to uh, find, find that last remaining person that we needed. The district also had challenges last year finding enough bus drivers. Dr. White said it is still a challenge, but the situation improved this year with all 19 routes having a committed driver. If needed, they have other employees on staff with CDL certification that can fill in for bus drivers, which happened last year. We're in a better position than we were a year before. Um, we are expecting to have um, everything filled in all um, routes um, with a staff member, a, a driver. Dr. White also says that the leadership of second year superintendent Steve Van Matry has helped with staffing, making sure that prospective candidates know about the opportunities in the district and filling those roles, all to prepare Tolosa Midway ISD for students returning to those classrooms tomorrow. Brian.